What was your first big feature? Other than your brothers. I think uh, before we get to that, we should... He's been on the George Lopez. He's performed on George Lopez show. Oh, yeah. so okay, see, that. motherfucker talking to me about yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Bring it up, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the George Lopez show, that was a... I was just a... I just been a fan of that food from, you know, from back then and shit. And um, I had did a song because I was going to go to his his uh, Lopez Tonight show. Okay. Yeah, so I was just, I was young though. I was like 20 or some shit and I went. Shit, George Lopez show at 20 years old? Yeah, are you yeah, booming, so, Yeah, something like that. No, but I was just, the, I was in the audience and I oh, took okay. a CD and fucking, uh, I'm watching the show and when this fool had his break, I was like, hey, George, check it out. Fool, I got a CD for you. And he looked at me like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this fool? <laughs> you know, and then he was, he was like, hold up. And I was like, all right, cool. He did his show. And then at the end of the show, he calls me. And he's like, come here in front of everybody. And he, he pulls out a marker. Like he's going to sign a CD for me. And I'm like, nah, it's a song. I did it for you, dog. Check it out. And he's like, oh, you did it for me? He's like, yeah. So he's like, all right, cool. But in front of everybody. In front of everybody. You were looking no, nervous? Huh? You were looking nervous? Well, nah, because it wasn't, nah, it was cool. It was it, not, not at that time, but tri trip out. He fucking, uh, he, uh, he still had like a little more to do for the show. And then right at the end of the show, that's when he was like, hey, we got a rapper in the house. He did a song for me, and I got up. I was like, what's up, homie? Like, yeah, like, much love, fool. And he's like, you want to rap? You want to perform? I was like, hell yeah. And that fool brought me out on stage, and he let me perform. And um, it was cool. He, he let me perform. He took me backstage. I fucking, um, I met uh, Mike Tyson. I met Big Boy. Yeah, but you know, it's, I want to talk about this, though. Uh, I met Big Boy from, from what, 92.3, right? Or Power 106? Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's Fuck, he's he, he's ninety two point three now. Yeah, yeah. Power at the moment for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I met Big Boy, but uh, I walked up to him to give him my demo, and that fool turned me down, dog. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Why George Lopez was like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Showed you love, and this yeah. fool just turned you down. So Big Boy didn't even accept it. He was just nah, like, oh, he yeah, said he cool, couldn't. He said he, he said he couldn't accept it, and I was like, oh, it's all good, you know. I was like, fuck it, fuck this fool. Nah, just playing. <laughs> but you know, I was like, all right, cool. And then fucking um. George came back and he's like, hey, big boy's here. Did you give him your, your demo? And I was like, I tried to, but you know, homie didn't want to take it. He's like, nah, come on. And he's like, hey, this is the homie's music right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me see, let me see. Uh -huh. oh. Uh -huh. I've been wanting to say that shit on a platform like yeah. this. <laughs> Yeah. And then, and then, and then, have you ever run into him after that? Nah, never. So I hope he hears this. Yeah, damn, you know? that's fucked up, dog. Yeah. But see, a lot of people be <laughs> fucking up, like because see, like when, like you know, I'm pretty sure like people question George Love, like people question anybody with a big status, right? Like, oh, this fool didn't shake my hand or this. Mm -hmm. But you have an amazing story about this fool, and everybody else could have a whole different story, but they could be like. Then you know what? Maybe I just gotta give this for another chance. Yeah. But then the fact that this one didn't take your demo and then he came back and took your demo, I was yeah, like, uh. yeah. it was a little, you know? At the time, it was kind of like this fool. You're you like, like, fuck you. Grew up bumping this fool, that you know? That's crazy. Yeah, but it's all good. It's cool. Fuck you it. Know? Did you stop listening to part one of Nah, right nah, it was all good. You know, <laughs> I ain't tripping. It was cool. So, so who was your first big feature? Was it was it the game? I think it was a game for. Oh, no, actually, nah, it was a Baby Bash. I think Bash was the first. That's fire. Yeah. That's a. Bash was Talk solid. About it. How'd you come across Bash? Shit, I seen him at a at a show, and I, I was just like, "Fuck!" I walked up on him, and he he turned around. And he's like, "Oh, you YB little Yogi on Twitter?" And I was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "What the fuck?" And yeah, he showed love. Yeah, he showed love and down to earth uh, as fuck. Huh? Super dog, and we fucking we got in the studio. He he shot me the the feature, and uh, we did a video and everything. But yeah, Bash showed love. Fool, I, I got a lot of love for Bash. So. What year was this? Shit. I can't even recall, but it was like 2010. He was still like signed that. to Doghouse Records? <clears throat> Doghouse? I mean, you mean Dope House? Dope House. My father said Doghouse. No, I don't, no, <laughs> I don't think so. You don't no, think so? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think so. Damn. And then Bash, and after Bash was the game? Yeah, and then I got I got a track with the game, too. Talk about the game, the game feature, the whole scenario and shit. Um, I did a song. It's called Rumors in the Street, and I, I say a little reference to the game on it. And at the time, I was trying to like fucking get a feature and just, you know, see what's up and I fucking sent my track to to his manager uh, which was Tato and Tato heard it and he's like hey who's that on the first verse I was like that's me and he's like alright hold up and then probably like two weeks later I was in the studio with him fire yeah it was dope and then it was all love yeah it was love and we did the song and then fucking um, probably like two months later he had a show at the, at the observatory and I was the opener and he fucking he brought me out on stage and then you guys did the song. No, no, we didn't perform it, but he brought me out and like, introduced me to everybody. Sorry, show you love. Yeah, it's on. It's on the video. Like I have a video with it and shit. Now. Which is which is dope. See, but I think even like shooting your like what what I'm listening to so far is like you've been shooting your shot the whole like like you, fuck, you, fuck, you took chances with her. They were 
Whether they were up. good or bad. Like, a lot of people would not go to Lopez tonight, so I'd be like, how does he deep Straight for up. Because yeah. that's, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. And, and then plus, you're doing it at a comedy show, dog. Yeah. And I'm just is, on some hustle shit, fool. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. just on some, like, I'm going to make this shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but that's that, really what it was. Like, I'm just here to make my shit. Like, I want to get my shit heard. Like, I'm going to figure out a way. And I felt like he was, like, the only Rasa fool at the time that was going stupid. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then, and then, but shout out your brothers for allowing you to sell CDs because that took, kind of took your huh. your shyness away. Yeah, like yeah. you weren't shy to like introduce a CD or sell a CD or just sell nah, anything. That's nah, that was natural. Yeah. And then, because a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people be like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. they kind of stutter. Imagine he's hitting up strangers in the fucking parking lot of Food for Less every fucking day trying to get a pop. Exactly. You know? That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. So then, George Lopez was just another guy at Food for Less type shit. Just, yeah. He just happened to have a suit on with a bunch of lights, and you were like, yeah, yeah. motherfucker, here my yeah, CD. Yeah, and he showed love. Right. He showed love. And then um the the baby bass song that kind of uh, expanded you out to like towards like Texas and stuff like that uh, and like and like bit, different areas. A little bit. I mean, it was cool. It wasn't because at the time, for like you know, it wasn't really the music wasn't. I wasn't really like known yet like that. Yeah, so yeah. it was kind of like still like trying to build, you know. And, uh -huh. um, so when the song came out, it, it did what it did, but I don't think it was like. You know, crazy. But. Would would you say the Baby Bash, since he's talking about expanding more, would you say the Baby Bash record did better than the Cap G record? Because he got to feature with uh, Cap G and a video. Well, nah, because I'm more like, you know, it's different now. Well, because you're more known now. Yeah, yeah, than and, then. and there's digital shit. Like, yeah, the it's, YouTube, it's a big difference. Food. YouTube, yeah. Instagram, collaborations on Instagram. That Imagine you guys had what we have now back then yeah big difference bro. yo we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the clips channel so if you want to help us out click subscribe get us to 500k yeah.